What are some glaring things that you notice about this mango season that um, either that's a problem or, um, you know, something I've noticed is there doesn't seem to be as many fruits on the trees or they haven't been st sticking on there. So. Not as many and way later than some of the recent years. In 2023, we had the best mango crop we'd had since 2000 and at least 2015, possibly since 2009. 2009 was what we'd call like a 30 year mango season. So um, this one that we had in 2023 was pretty close. We had a very high volume of fr fruit throughout Florida, not just in South Florida. The one exception was um, Pine Island, Lee County in Southwest Florida. They had a very poor crop because of Hurricane Ian. But the rest of us last year had a pretty massive crop, regardless of who you were or where you were. Uh, this crop is reduced pretty significantly uh, throughout most of Florida. Now, I would still say that here in Palm Beach County, we have a better crop than pretty much the entire rest of the state. And that's just because our location is pretty optimal for mango, with the exception of those of you that are way out west okay out there it's a different kind of environment and atmosphere and the mangoes uh don't have an excellent crop in the more humid parts of the county but in this part of the county the mango crop is okay it's acceptable a lot of the larger trees have decent crops but it's certainly reduced over the last year by you know a noticeable margin even at our place uh where we are we're le like less than two miles from the ocean we don't have quite as much of the volume of fruit as we had last year, but we'll still have plenty of mangoes. So uh, this year, uh, that's pretty much the summary of like how much fruit to expect. But there's still going to be mangoes available if you're you know in the market for them. So it's not a disaster. Two years ago, the crop in Florida was pretty horrible. Um, so this is not like that. So don't think it's going to be that that bad. Better than 2022. It's better than 2022. <laughs> and for us, I mean, we actually had an okay amount of fruit in 2022, but like we definitely have more fruit than we had that year. Uh, so there's a few disappointments here and there, but, you know, we'll be open, you know, like we always are and we'll be shipping fruit like we always are. As far as I know, some of the other farms will be as well. The major farms. <laughs> Positive factor. Why is the crop reduced over the prior year? Okay. I would say reason number one, uh, mild winter. We get mild winters every year, and it's uh, kind of a coin flip as to how well the mango trees will respond to that um, circumstance. Uh, they will all pretty much flower if we get two consecutive weeks where the low hits below 15 degrees Celsius. That never happens anymore in South Florida, like at all. Uh, so... You know, we're fortunate if we can get 10 consecutive days. Um, Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit, that would be about under 60 degrees Fahrenheit. So uh, anyway, so that's problem number one. Number two, um, a lot of the trees that did flower, and we had an okay bloom, okay, in yeah. most of Florida in yeah. December, yeah. January, February. A lot of the trees that did flower produced an excessive amount of male flowers. Mm -hmm. When that happens, you don't get as much fruit set on certain varieties. Varieties that do that a lot are like Cary. Um, the Gary Manga does it a lot. Some of its progeny like to do that. You know, like Pina Colada or Coconut Cream can come out exclusively male. Sugarloaf's another manga that does that, but so do a number of older varieties too. So when the trees flower and produce almost 100% male flowers, you're not going to get a lot of fruit set. So then you're going to hope that they flower a second time. And in a lot of cases, that didn't happen. Why did they produce so many males? That is a response to the temperature that's occurring before they initiate the flowers. So certain varieties, if the temperature, this is a made up figure, okay? But let's say it was 40, high 40s for two nights in a row, okay? Um, they didn't like it. So they come out male excessively instead of female. And what we call female flowers are actually hermaphrodites. They're, they have both parts. Um, but the male flowers only have um, the uh, the stamen. They do not have a pistil. So they cannot make fruit. They can just pollinate. That's the only thing they can do. So if a variety you know doesn't like the temperatures it's receiving, 
I say doesn't like, it's just a response, right? Um, it can come out excessively male. Some varieties just naturally produce plenty of female flowers. Um, they, they'll do that no matter what. Like a pickering mango tree will flower, uh, with plenty of females no matter what. Um, you know, Angie will make lots of female flowers no matter what, but they don't all behave that way. So some of them will oscillate depending on the, the, the weather they're experiencing before they bloom. Uh, and also locale can matter too. So, um, yeah, that's, that's a big reason why. Now the additional reasons are we had a little bit too much rainfall. Okay. Rain encourages vegetative growth or it confuses the trees and makes them, you know, not want to flower. The drier conditions are the more likely they are to flower. So they're stimulated to bloom by cool weather and dry weather. In the tropics, they don't get cool weather, so they need drought to flower. But the combination of cool and dry is what really forces them to flower well. And we weren't that dry in the last couple of months. We got rain about once a week here, I'd say. Uh, so that discouraged flowering. The final factor was fungus. So we had more fungus pressure this year than we've had in a number of years. We had a lot of powdery mildew in Florida this year, pretty aggressive powdery mildew. So if you did not spray to control that, you probably got fungus and that fungus, depending on the severity, could have really limited your crop. We also saw anthracnose this year, a little more aggressive than prior years also. So those are the main reasons why the crop is reduced over 2023. 